So this first day is uh, titled The Rise and Fall of the Empire of Words. So what is being suggested is that if we all strip down everything, there are no words. Every word is just a made up word. They're not true, neither false. Since true or false are just words and words are unreal because simply there's not two. If we go down to the definition of non-duality, although that's just another word, non-duality, simply not two. In other words, words are just made up of words that are made up. So going back to simply not two, there are no words. Every single word is just an appearance, um, a trick backed by another word. Again, if you look up a word in a dictionary, you'll just see words. Words. <laughs> a reality made up of words. Because reality is just a word. So in the next three sessions, there's going to be an apparent tackling of the biggest words out there that seems to be the stuckness in words. Words like God, awareness, consciousness, me, you, enlightenment. They're all made up words. But who made them up? Well, words just make up words. Well-maintained words to maintain the most obvious illusion, which is you. You only appear in thoughts, yet somehow you're just made up of more thoughts. You are just a word. Even when you say, well, I feel it in my heart, my soul. <laughs> heart and soul are just words again. Even if what you think is true, that is just another thought, another word. Truth is also a made-up word. There's nothing wrong or right about words because wrong or right are just made up of words. Meanings is just a word. This is strongly what I believe is a complete delusion <laughs> because it's just a bunch of words that solidifies what is real to me. But the me is just a word. It maintains the separation by creating a division by that conviction of the word called I that thinks that it is real. Furthermore, it adds other special words to maintain its reality like, reality, like I am, or I am awareness, or ultimately, I am God. Or even, let's go to the flip side of I am nothing. Nothing is just a word. <laughs> it's dream speak. So if you say that I am a God, or I am nothing, or I am everything, or I am that, let's translate that. The word is just a word. The word is just a word. The word creates another word to loop. It just loops towards to hide what's obvious, that there are no words. Because again, let's go back into simply not to. The moment that the word is uttered, the moment that a word is spoken or thought of, that's separation. So every thought, every word, every single idea, concepts, is just an illusion. Everything that you can think about is made up of words that are completely made up, masterminded seemingly by the root of all words, separation. Which cannot really be caught up in a word. It's just an illusion. It's just a thought. I or you, the secret desire to be real, makes up other words like consciousness, pure, God, infallible words to remain unquestionable, unquestionable reality. But reality is just made up of words. It's an empire of words. It's a tower of belief system. It's architecture that does not have any reality or non-reality even. You don't exist in reality because it's just a word about a word existing in words. Since reality and you are just 
words equally empty. So the seemingly the apparent you is hidden in a tower of words in an empire of words like mountains of empty meanings and imprisoned by a belief system when words are strung along surreal so that it's not you cannot penetrate it by doubts because that's just another word. Because there's all of a sudden the absolute truth. And then the hidden secret word that, that is the biggest made up word is God. <laughs> and that's the word that you're not supposed to question. And then if even if that is toppled down, now well, I don't believe in God, then and it becomes consciousness. Surely there must be consciousness. For this to happen, there must be consciousness or awareness or a source or a self. It's just words that keeps on recycling. The moment that the, you think that there's consciousness, that's separation. The moment that there's awareness, that's another separation. So this fortress is made up of words that rises and falls by making them real as you secretly maintain the fantas fantasy of reality. It's fantasy. That even if you become aware of your absolute nature, which is just the most divisive word ever, which is God, the best made up word ever, um, it's simply not two. Because who came up with the word God or who even came up with words? That's division. There's nothing wrong or right about division. So for a word to be made up, there has to be a, cre a creator. But the creator is also not true. <laughs> Simply, if it appears as a word, it is made up. Whatever you are thinking right now is completely made up. How do you know or how do you think? No one knows because you'll just come up with more words to support that what you feel is true or what you think is true, which is just backed up with a series of words. <laughs> it's really silly. It's just a really play of words. You cannot exist because exist is just a word. Even when you think, well, I, I really can't, you know, it's, it's really palpable. But that's just backed up by another word. The moment that you think that you exist, or not exist even, it's just another fantasy. It's just a flurry of words. But as long as you maintain that you're real, again, even real is a made up word, by defending your words by other words, like reality or the absolute. As perceived by you and your made up words, even when you say, well, it's all really nothing. Well, nothing is just another word. <laughs> of course, there's no you, because you is just a word. Like the root of words comes from you, but since there's no you, everything that you will make up is just going to be made up of empty words. But somehow words are being used in this communication. It's just to illuminate to a root that the root word is there's no root word. There's no original word. There's no beginning and there's no end. Words only prolongs what has always been obvious. What rings true without the aid of words or belief system. And the greatest fear of all, which is death. Absence. Nothing. You can't say it in words. It's unknowable. It's unthinkable. It's incomprehensible. In the story, you are dead and you're using dead language. This is like speaking in tongues. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> to maintain the delusion of grandeur that what is not real has a reality, which is dualistic. Again, right? The moment that, you know, there's there going to be some, the biggest argument is like, well, it's, it, you are all saying the same thing. I'm like, I'm not saying anything at all. There's nothing being said here because this is just words. But this is almost like a word assassin. There's purposely being used, words being used to 
express, to transparently express that there are no words. Words are all created. Words are all dead. So there is a fear of acceptance that it's really nothing. So it wishes that it is something else that encompasses everything, like God or source or self or the higher self. I, I really laugh at the self because there is no self, but it becomes real when it becomes capitalized. <laughs> It becomes, well, there's a capital S there, you know, it must be real. <laughs> then it becomes just this confusion. So what is being avoided is what is obvious. The obvious is that this is all made up, but it feels real. But what is made up and what feels real cannot really be put into words. So there's a coming up of words to maintain that there is truth. But for truth to happen, there has to be not true. So that's, again, dualistic. Um, so the, felt, the fake self resonates with whatever will maintain its fakery when there is fake resonance. Resonance simply is the resonance that it can't, it's like a blackout. It's like, I, I don't know what I'm resonating with. It cannot, I cannot put it into words. Or when there's a glimpse, it cannot manufacture words of what it is, but somehow it tries to best explain it in words. It communicates what cannot be spoken. It tries to express what cannot be expressed. It says in words what is, cannot be captured by words. The obstacle to this unconditional freedom that cannot be talked about are words. And words become belief system. Words be have, all of a sudden have hierarchies. Or even, you know, like apparent, you know, masters or something, there are no masters, just a word, will come up with this, there is nothing but only supreme reality. But that's just a bunch of made up words. Although we will say that there's no separation, they will say that there's only the absolute. But that's a belief system in words again. That's just an imaginary friend to maintain that it's not real by making something real, by making something like an absolute reality. So since this is, this is like an open invitation to see that this is perfection, that there's nothing wrong or right about words, they're just appearances. But trying to grasp, trying to hold on to words, or trying to say that it's, everything is just the same thing. You're saying the same thing as this. No, this is, this is not saying anything at all. This is just an expression that there's already completion. It's already done. I used to say that, you know, there, there was so much clarity that somehow when speaking happens, it muddies what's already clear. What's already clear is that let's just kind of like, uh, let's just you use words to assassinate some words. <laughs> if you were standing in a corner and then if something you know, flying, hit your head completely, and all of a sudden, there are no more words. Would you know what separation is? Would you know what freedom is? Would you know anything at all? No. There are no words. But words are appearances. That's neither right or wrong, neither real or unreal. It's nothing at all. But it's also everything. <laughs> 